We call ourselves a recycling factory, but actually our real title is a materials recovery facility. At this factory, we sort and recover the paper, cardboard, cans, plastic bottles and plastic tubs you put in pink recycling sacks every week. It starts here on the tipping floor. Every day, collection vehicles reverse in and tip your pink sacks onto the floor. The scoop truck then scoops them up and places them into the bag splitting machine. Inside are blades which turn and gently rip open the pink sacks without damaging the contents. The loosened recycling then travels up the first conveyor belt into the main factory which contains all the specialised separating and sorting machines. At the moment, the recycling contains the paper, steel, aluminium and plastic rubbish mixed together. So how do we sort them? Well, there are different machines that sort different materials and this is how they work. The first machine is called a ballistic separator. Using paddles, it shakes the recycling to separate by size and shape. The paddles are angled very slightly, so the metals and plastics fall to the back of the machine and onto a conveyor belt, whilst flat items such as paper and cardboard travel up the paddles to the front of the machine. This then goes by conveyor onto the paper cabin. Here the workers pick out large pieces of cardboard to be separately recycled and remove any unrecyclable materials such as food or nappies. That's the paper now ready to be sent off to be recycled. At the same time, the metals and plastics conveyor is having the metals removed first. This is an overband magnet conveyor. It attracts any metals that are magnetic, such as steel food cans. At the other end of the conveyor, the magnetism stops and the cans fall into the storage bunker below. As aluminium is not magnetic, we then apply a strong eddy current to make the aluminium cans jump into the storage bunker. All we have left to sort are the various types of plastics. The near-infrared optical sensors in the next machines look for the plastic types and then use a jet of air to make the plastic jump into the different storage bunkers. Finally, we check by eye that all the plastics are sorted correctly. These are the large bunkers, each full with recyclable materials. When full, the door to the bunker opens and send all that material up to a final conveyor belt and into the baling machine, which squashes and binds each material into a cube or bale. Each bale is one meter high one meter wide, one meter deep and weighs just under a ton. These can then be taken away to factories to be made into new recycled products.